Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Fietta, and this is a quick intro to COVIDence video to help those of you who may be new to the systematic review management platform. Our project page you see here titled as ISS 2020 gave all review team members access to a shared platform, so we were always working from the most up-to-date information and review version. Covidence allows you to add your study's inclusion-exclusion criteria. You can see some of ours here. Covidence also lets you add important procedural details such as when the actual search took place, confirming how up-to-date your included articles are. It also has you set the number of reviewers who will be screening the reviews. By the time you've finished your review, the procedural data is recorded, charted, and ready to report. So here is what the review screen looks like. You can see where Covident shows you the number of articles that have been reviewed, how they fared, and how many are left. At the point this picture was taken, our review had already been completed, but had it not, then the green bar you see would have been multicolored, according to the number of votes and conflicts each article had received. Just as before, Covidence allows you to keep track of where you are in the overall process. If you continue into the data extraction section, you can assess the quality and complete the data extraction process according to the parameters you've set. Here you have the option of assessing quality of an article using a Cochrane review tool template or using a customized template that you've designed. In closing, I'll just show here the option they provide to extract data directly into the Covidence platform rather than using an Excel document. You can add information on article characteristics, study methods, about the population, and regarding the interventions and outcomes.